Hello, Mr. Naveen. Hi, uh, good evening. Good evening, Naveen. Where are you? Uh, I am at my village. Okay, so please sit down. Find a proper location and sit down so that we do not face trouble while speaking because, you know, wind is blowing. Yes, but I came to my field. Uh, so here I, I no, I don't have proper uh, sitting arrangement and proper seat to sit. All right. So I need to stand. Okay, so keep, uh, keep standing. But you know, the wind is blowing and the birds are, chir birds are chirping as well. Yes, birds are chirping and the wind is blowing and weather is slow, so pleasant weather. Yes, right, absolutely. Uh, so, where is your village? Uh, yeah, it is uh, 100 kilometer away from Hyderabad. Uh, what is the name of your village? Uh, Dacharam. Okay, Dacharam. So, why have you gone to your village? Uh, generally, my mom and uh, my dad uh, live here only. So, uh, monthly once uh, I come to my hometown and I see my, uh, I work in my field also. Whenever I have a free time, I come to my village and I work in my field. Okay. So how do you work in your field? What work do you do? Uh, in this season, uh, we planted uh, cotton seeds in the ground. Okay. So can you show me? So actually, I walked uh, somewhat uh, along. So I am exactly, I think, uh, uh, 50 meter or 100 meter away from my field. Okay. So away from your field. So you cannot show me the cotton Yes, yes, and we recently, uh, what we call, we uh, recently worked on the seeds and uh, those are very little plants now. And uh, after one week and we can easily see and uh, those plants will grow uh, after one week and uh, uh, present uh, they are in very little plants. What we call exactly, what is the uh, correct word and they just came out from the seed. Oh, okay, so they are saplings. Yes, like saplings. Baby plants, saplings. Yes, yes. All right, so I understand. Uh, so what did you have for your lunch today, Naveen? Uh, I had uh, rice and aloo curry. Okay. Along, along with curd. Okay, all right. At my field only, at my field only we had, and the morning time we... Uh, took a box, lunch box to the field okay. and we had lunch at our field only. All right. So as you are living in your village right now and you've also been to Hyderabad. Yes. Right. So you have lived in the village as well and also in a metro city. So what do you prefer? Uh, living in a metro city or living in a village? I prefer a village. So and I can, can say, yeah, I can say pros and cons of, yep. uh, you know, uh, town lifestyle and the village lifestyle. Yeah, please go ahead. Uh, and uh, first of all, um, I will uh, mm -hmm. tell about village lifestyle. And uh, here we have uh, pleasant weather and uh, all our uh, organic uh, food, like here, vegetables, and uh, we, you know, here in our village, we don't use uh, milk packets. And uh, we just take milk from uh, Buffalo City. So here oh. we don't use, yeah, we don't use milk packets. And uh, uh, in, um, you know, here we uh, buy vegetables from the uh, persons who grow uh, their, in their field. And they don't use uh, uh, these uh, pesticides. They don't use pesticides and those are uh, totally organic uh, vegetables. And uh, here we have uh, pure uh, water and uh, no pollution with the water uh, and uh, daily for daily using water and for drinking water as well. And uh, both are very pure and we don't have any uh, impurities 
impurities and um, and here we have uh, many relations and our uh, father in law and uh, our baba what we can say uncles my uncles and uh, brothers cousins and uh, all are here here and uh, and we can uh, spend a not i can not say luxury but he can, he, uh, we can spend here a pleasant uh, life and uh, no worries and no pressure and uh, no pollution uh, and uh, uh, yeah that's it and uh, we can lead a good and pleasant and a pure uh, atmosphere here and we can enjoy the pure atmosphere and uh, uh, exactly we can enjoy the uh, pure air here and uh, there is no air pollution also here in village so and uh, these all are the mer uh, merits and advantages and we can say pros of the village and coming to the demerits of the village and uh, we here we don't have uh, medical facilities and we here we don't have uh, huge hospitals like big hospitals multi specialty hospitals and uh, here we and uh, come transport also uh, comparing to the city and uh, here we have less transport and uh, uh, so and our education system also and we, here we have uh, uh, colleges and uh, with a little number of uh, faculty and uh, comparing to the city and uh, here somewhat uh, less i think less quality of education okay so, so th those are the demerits and uh, coming to the city and in city we have a major uh, big uh, big hospitals and whenever it is emergency and we can easily go to the hospital and uh, we can take the treatment uh, then and there only uh, with, without delay mm -hmm. whenever it emergency and one more thing we have uh, great uh, educational institutes uh, in uh, metro cities and uh, uh, great transport and we can uh, easily earn we can do may, we have many works uh, in city and many jobs we can easily find uh, many jobs in metro city but in village and uh, we we have to do uh, agriculture uh, that's it and here we can do only one thing agriculture and we don't have uh, much job facilities here in village hmm. in city we have much uh, facilities and we can work for zomato and we can work for all of if we have a driving license we can work for volo and uh, we can work for zomato and uh, if you are good with uh, your communication skills and you can go to any company and uh, if you are good with your software skills and we have many software companies in hyderabad and uh, you can go for walk in walk ins and uh, you can uh, choose uh, your job and if you if you are interested and uh, if you get another job while you are doing in a job and you can easily uh, quit that job and you can easily go to the another job and uh, if they provide a good package for you comparing to the old uh, job so in yeah. village we don't have that type of facilities and uh, here is the only thing and we have to do agriculture and we can uh, uh, that is the only thing okay and, I do. Uh, those are the pros and cons of uh, metro city and uh, villages okay. and company so come in, you know, um, when uh, uh, yeah go ahead yeah, please go ahead. Go ahead. I uh, in metro city we have lots of uh, pollution, uh, sound pollution and uh, air pollution also, and water also. Uh, they are not in pure, and uh, you can easily you know uh, you can easily see the change of water in village and in metro cities. Yes, the water. Yeah, is those are the things I observed. What I observed. <laughs> Yes, definitely you observed uh, correctly. Uh, so as you said that you can work, uh, you get a lot of work opportunities in metro cities. So, but don't you think the metropolitan cities are fast paced and it is not uh, you know a suitable place for many people, even though they live in metro city, but uh, it's uh, like they do not want to live there because of its fast paced uh, nature. Yes. What do you have to say about that? Uh, can you repeat uh, your sentence? And I didn't get exactly. Yeah, yeah, sure. So as you said that um, Metro Cities provides a vast um, number of opportunities, job opportunities, and people are living over there, right? People are working, living there, and slogging their days off. Yes. 
all right uh, but uh, there are many people who do not want to live there even though they have to but they do not want to because a uh, metropolitan city is a very, is no is fast paced uh, what you are saying fast paced fast paced yes, yes fast paced i'm typing it in the chat box please check uh sure fast paced all right it means that it's it's moving very fast it's not for everybody hmm okay so what do you have to say about this so you are saying about uh, their lifestyle uh, that thing or other fast no, no, no. fast paced you are saying fast paced and i didn't get that fast paced is that idiom or uh, what is the exactly meaning of fast paced uh the like fast paced is a phrase which means that the life in the city is move very fast okay no one is having time for their counterparts uh, so they are yes. from one place to another they are doing their job they are coming back they don't give a damn about anything else so you know there are many people who like to live in groups who like to talk to people who do not like the noise of the city life yes and okay. generally uh, um, uh, many people and they live in another place and they work in another place and generally uh, many software companies are located in in a costly area and uh, employees cannot uh, offer uh, you know they cannot uh, live in that area because their uh, their uh, charges like uh, room rental charges and these are very high when where the companies are located so we can see lots of companies software companies in one area and their their room charges and hostel charges are uh, very high so they generally they leave to uh, 30 kilometers away from that software companies so there uh, they can offer the charges of the room rents and hostel fees are somewhat less comparing to that place so they generally uh, go to their uh, uh, office by bikes or by using metro or by using bus and uh, so one or two hours uh, for up and down they do uh, you know the two hours for that up and down only so yes. that's what they yeah they are wasting their time on the transport only yeah i agree with that uh, and uh, one more thing here and uh, generally they don't leave one person in one room so they cannot offer that much uh, uh, rent so they uh, four members of a group or uh, 30 members of a group they generally select a room and uh, they all together they live in a room right definitely so i heard of this that uh, you know some of my friends are living in hyderabad and bangalore so they say that the place is very expensive they cannot afford a single room so they have to live with their friends in pg as a paying guest or something yes all right and so, which lifestyle do you like and do you prefer uh, city lifestyle or village lifestyle and did you visit any village and uh, your okay. bar and bought up in a town metro town okay so my grand grandparents are from bihar okay okay so they are from bihar so yes i have been to villages i have liked the environment the atmosphere it's very clean it's very calm and serene so i don't have anything to complain about it but you know uh, as i was growing up i have been a part of various cities okay so the place where i am living right now i have also been to delhi so i am very much attracted by city life because i like the hustle and bustle of a city life sometimes i also prefer the quietness of a village but you know there are times uh, when the quietness gets deafening it means okay i'll type it in the chat box do you understand hindi navin uh, li- very little bit uh, i don't understand hindi so the quietness quietness gets deafening it means yes i'm sorry for the inconvenience actually i got a 
got an urgent call. It's okay. It's okay, and it is urgent right now. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what do you think about migration? Like people are migrating from from various cities to Hyderabad and Bangalore specifically because you know it is becoming the high IT hub. So, don't you think it is impacting the uh, people who are already living there for a very long time? Uh, yes, uh, in society and uh, developing our lifestyle and uh, earning money is uh, very important, right? So, yes. in villages and their parents are doing uh, far, far, they are doing farming. So their children are you know they they are good with uh, their studies and they completed their uh, engineering and uh, they are selected in a. MNCs, so they are going there, and uh, when they get married, and uh, they are staying in cities itself. So whenever they have holidays of uh, uh, festivals or festivals only, they are coming back to their villages. So uh, here, what happens? And for five, four, four, five years, they come uh, to their villages whenever they have festival, and after four, five years, and they are settling in that city only itself. And they are not coming back to their villages, and they are, they are forgetting. And they... okay, that is what happened with migration. Okay. And we can see that in Corona time, in COVID time, and uh, many employees lost their job, and they just uh, uh, searching. You know, they just searching their uh, roots, where where are where they from, and uh, they went back to their villages also. We mm -hmm. saw many uh, employees uh, who lost their job in uh, during lockdown and during COVID time, and they just came back uh, to their villages. And... Definitely. Okay, so as I see, we are already running short of time. You know. Yes. So yes. Discussion about migration, you know, urbanization, the pros and cons of a city life and a village life. I think it was an appropriate topic because you are already in your village right now, so we could have a great discussion. Okay, yeah. so see you soon. So, feedback. Yeah. So, you know, uh, there was a moment when I was talking to you, uh, when we were talking, and I you know, couldn't help but notice that you kept on speaking continuously without buffering. You know, continuously means for two minutes. Without buffering, without stopping, without stumbling. Okay, so that was a great thing for me uh, to notice that because previously, uh, when we used to talk, when we talked before, I did not notice some anything like that. Okay, so I think you're Thank practicing. You. You're practicing a lot. That's great. Okay. Then any mistakes during the session today's session? Yeah. Like uh, nothing that I can count off because there will always be one or two mistakes. All right, but those are very minor in nature. Nothing major. Sure. We can work on that as soon as soon as you learn certain rules and you uh, keep speaking daily, keep practicing, keep looking into the mirror and practice this, uh, the same thing. You will get there. All right. Sure, sure. And uh, thank you. We had a great session. I had a great session with you. Yeah. And I'm looking uh, many sessions with you. With, thank you. We're looking forward to having many sessions with you. All right. Yeah, looking forward to having many sessions with you. Looking forward to have many sessions with you. Thank you. Looking, look, we are going to use ING in look. We also use ING with have. Okay. Looking okay. to have. Looking to have. Having, having. Looking to having. Yes. Okay. Two ink forms, looking and having. Looking to having many sessions with you. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. For correction. Bye.